Hello, Internet. Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello, Internet. Big Dave here with you today to answer a fairly simple question with a far too long-winded answer. So why did I buy WWE 2K15 for the PC? Is it because I'm a lifelong wrestling fan? Is it because two of my most disturbing and vivid childhood memories are tied to wrestling? The first coming in 1985 when six-year-old Big Dave sat in the Greensboro Coliseum and watched Magnum TA grind a splintered piece of broken wooden chair into Tully Blanchard's forehead, forcing Tully to squeal, yes, yes, when asked, do you quit? The next memory comes just one year later. I'm seven years old now. We're back in the Greensboro Coliseum. It's Starcade 86, the Night of the Skywalkers. In the scaffold match, the Road Warriors come out victorious. And then, Jim Cornette falls from the scaffold. He falls from the scaffold as awkwardly as any human has ever fallen from a 15-foot scaffold suspended above a wrestling ring. And he lands in a way that even a seven-year-old understands is wrong. The human body's not supposed to do that. He's in an almost seated position, his legs fully extended out in a plank position. His heels dig into the mat, his knees explode on impact. He's never the same again. Watching a human body fall like that and hit like that, it wasn't the way that Bobby Eaton fell, breaking his fall and rolling like I knew a wrestler should. It was real. It was as real as when Magnum tried to murder Tully a year earlier. Those two memories made me into the wrestling fan that I am today, and by extension made me into the person that I am today. That seems like reason enough to buy a wrestling video game, right? Did I buy WWE 2K15 on the PC because it's a good game? Did I buy it because it's the logical conclusion of the path that they were taking in 13 and 14, that it's an improvement on all of those things, and that it is the definitive version on next-gen consoles and now the PC platform? Did I buy it because I wanted it? Did I buy it because I'm excited to play it? Did I buy it because it's got Mark Henry DLC in it? The answer to all of those questions is no. I didn't buy it because I'm a wrestling fan. I didn't buy it because it's a good game. If I go by reviews, the game was generally panned. Five out of 10, two stars. Fans love it, sure, but who the hell can trust them? I sure as hell didn't buy it because their marketing did a lot to get me excited about the game. I mean, I don't have next-gen consoles, so you're not gonna make that sell, but you didn't even get me to think about it for PS3 or Xbox 360. So why in the hell did I buy WWE 2K15 for the PC? Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? I mean, you've stayed this long, so I'm going to assume you want to know. I bought WWE 2K15 on the PC because I want the opportunity to buy WWE 2K16 on the PC. I had to send a message to 2K that there was a market for this game on this platform. I didn't want to be the guy that sat back and said, I'm not buying that jacked up, gimped piece of garbage that they shoveled out onto next gen consoles. I'll wait until they release the good version next year on PC. Because guess what? If you're one of the people doing that, you are ensuring that they're not going to release the good version next year on PC. This bare bones, no frills PC port is clearly 2K's version of a person dipping their toe into a freshly run bath to see what the temperature is. And if they stick that toe into frigid water, they're gonna pull it back and they're not gonna dip it again for quite some time. So I wanted to be that warm, welcoming bath that said to 2K, come on in, the water's fine. That's right, you're welcome here. We want your games in the PC space just as badly as you want our money. So put your games out and we will buy them. Now listen, don't get me wrong here, okay? I am not giving 2K a pass for making a bad WWE game. And that's what this is, all right? I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but this is a bad WWE game. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not going to put 20 or 30 hours into it because the moment to moment in this game is okay. But I would challenge you to find another game in this series that is as big a step back as this game is, 
Find me a game that has less modes, that has less opportunities for creativity. Something that has become a cornerstone of this series over the last five to ten years. And you're just not going to find that game, no matter how hard you look. But that just brings me back around to my original point. I'm not buying this game because I'm excited about this game. I'm not buying this game because I care about this game. The money that I put down for this game is a bet. I am betting on the fact that 2K, Ukes, and Visual Concepts will not put out a product that is this stripped down, that is this bare bones next year. In fact, they've said as much in interviews. They have acknowledged the shortcomings of this game, and they have talked about the fact that they want the next game to be so much better, and they want to return those missing features to the series. And that's the game that I want the chance to buy on PC. So yeah, this year... I'm going to eat shit so that next year I can eat steak. And that's why I bought WWE 2K15 on PC. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.